Town officials in Auburn celebrate the father of modern rocketry, Robert Goddard. This weekend is the 50th anniversary of man landing on the moon. Goddard's work helped lay the groundwork for Apollo 11, and the Central Massachusetts Rocket Club lit off their own to pay tribute. Our Camp Jandro has the story. It was 93 years ago Robert Goddard launched the first successful liquid-fueled rocket here in Auburn at what is now the ninth hole at the Packachaw Golf Course. And while the world celebrates the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, Central Massachusetts is celebrating the man who helped create the technology that helped us get there. Robert Goddard reinvented the landscape of science and technology when he successfully launched a rocket just like this one. No one was seriously thinking of going to the moon when he was born in 1882, and let alone in 1926. Goddard graduated from WPI and later taught at Clark University. He launched the liquid-fueled rocket in Auburn back in March of 1926. Friday, the town paid tribute by setting off rockets of their own and reading from Goddard's diary. And tried rocket at 2.30. It rose 41 feet and went 184 feet in 2.5 seconds after the lower half of the nozzle had burned off. Saturday marks 50 years since man first walked on the moon. And while Goddard played a pivotal role in making it happen, Central Massachusetts also had other ties to the landing of Apollo 11. Is when the lunar landing module settled down on the moon's surface, it rested on legs designed here in Worcester by another WPI graduate, Alan Glazer, class of 1947. But Friday was about celebrating how one Central Massachusetts professor changed the world. Goddard showed us that having the courage and creativity to follow your dreams is how great science is done. Now to celebrate the occasion, the Worcester Historical Museum will be hosting Worcester on the Moon and Beyond Saturday. They'll be showcasing moon-related artifacts from the collections of WPI and Clark University. In Auburn, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.